two, one, two, three. guitar pickers you were at musicwithryan.com today's lesson as you just saw I'll fly away in the key of D and I did a Carter style beginning version and then I also did a much more advanced version with all kinds of little frills and tons of cross picking so this is this whole lesson is um, kind of a package lesson with the beginning and the advanced arrangement coming together so probably close to an hour of instructional video um, you know two sets of tabs and then also four practice tracks, two for each arrangement. And I go through the practice tracks playing the melody with the band and then leaving a spot open for you to play the melody and then playing the melody the third time so you get a chance to um, know how you fit in. But um, yeah, I got a lot of awesome stuff in, this, in these two arrangements that I'd like to share with you. And uh, so I'm going to start walking through the uh, beginning arrangement right now. You can hop over to my website to get the full length lesson. So I appreciate your support out there. All right, thanks guys. Here we go. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, check out I'll Fly Away here. I'm on capo on the second fret in the key of D, playing out of C position, okay? So it starts on beat two. I have um, a rest there, and then I have three pickup notes. So the first measure, um, the first couple measures will go like one. So as you see, I didn't move uh, my left hand all that much. I'm playing out of this, again, I said C position, and actually, maybe I should be more specific. Um, I'm playing out of a C slash G, and that's what this shape is. And this right here is a G note, and so that you might see a, a slash chord. Um, yeah, I have a C chord, but uh, G is in the bass. And it's just kind of helping me get a little bit more connective playing and if you've seen my videos um, I kind of do this a lot with some of the Carter style stuff all right and remember that if they're the numbers on top of the staff are the fingerings and the pick directions are there for you so on the bottom but again that little that first part um, one Kind of that boom chicka boom, or that alternate bass drumming is kind of guiding my melody um, in this case. So it starts on the low string and the, and the fifth string. I lift up my second finger, open D, and then I put my second finger back down. Let's drum that. And the fifth string. So when I do my down up, um, there as indicated, you don't have to strum all the strings. I kind of stick to the bottom three or four, um, just in general, kind of clean up that chord a little bit. So yeah, and 
a lot of times just the bottom three. Okay, so that those couple measures one more time. One. starting on the D string or the fourth string. If you don't know the names of your strings, uh, I would highly recommend learning them. It will help you kind of move along a little faster in the lessons. And uh, so D string all, all four times here for this measure. And I'm going to catch that with my pinky. So that again. Lift up my second finger, open D, put it back down, and then third fret on the D, my pinky there, it says four. And then the next measure. And if you notice, I only really have those two fingers down there by the end of the measure and that's okay I'm those last three strings right there that's a C chord just another way to play it just kind of a you know a shortened way so those two measures combine on the D string there most of it C over G here, then open D, second fret, third fret, back to the second fret, down, up, down, up, and then now I'm going to go to F slash C, much the same as um, you know my slash chord C slash G. This is an F with a C note, this one right here in the bass. And that strum, it's going to be a little different measure there, the strumming. Um, the first note, one, two, and four, and. So I have a dotted rhythm there, there's a dotted quarter note. <laughs> dotted quarter note, that second note. It's going to, I have a quarter, and then down, two, and four, and one, two. Oh, I'm sorry, one. So a little bit of syncopation there, if you will, while strumming the chord kind of out of the alternate bass or the boom chicka boom thing, as I like to call it. One, two, three, and four, and. So on the and of three, I get that upstroke, okay? Do that a little bit slower, then move on to the next measure. Um, ready, go. And four, and. Open A there, I just lift my third finger, open A. And I go back to the C over G. So starting right on the F slash C. Let's go from right there and let's do those three measures real slow. So ready, go. And four and down A string. Back to C. Okay, kind of just a boom chicka boom measure there, alternate bass thing. A string, down, up, A 